Togo or other places in, in West Africa should not choose the path of America. Because it's quite common sense that you cannot continue to farm like that. I think that it's fundamental for our life here to seriously not only consider the, the environment but to be the key, almost like a compass, right? Um, because the communities in Togo and West Africa depends on the nature. So that nature needs to be protected and how we engage with that nature, we need to be very thoughtful. To decide specifically to focus on, uh, on the shea trees was quite obvious. The fact that those are wild trees, it means that you don't need to fertilize them, you don't need to water them, is sustainable. And for me, is, is realizing that Togo should not choose that path of heavy chemical use in, in the farming. We already have multi-crop system. And also that we need to try to depend a little bit more on naturally existing ingredients so that we don't need to, to have plantations and plantations. And I'll tell you, when we were growing up in, in the central part of Togo, there were all these different ways of protecting the nature. You know, it used to be that we can't cut the shea trees down. If you cut the shea trees down, your village will curse you, so you don't, you don't touch them. There was all these different community governance within our culture, and that's part of how I feel about life here too. I'm trying to show our communities in West Africa and our communities here in America, it is possible to use our traditional knowledge to create healthy product without destroying ourselves. And as we go forward in the world, we must consider the environment.